From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office has made an arrest in connection to a Tuesday afternoon murder. 21-year-old Alonzo Bernard Hicks was arrested Tuesday night at the in-town suite's extended stay on Eisenhower Parkway. Hicks was arrested in connection to the death of 60-year-old Robert Wells. Mr. Wells was found in the driver's seat of a truck near the roadway at Mrs. Winters on Pionona Avenue, suffering from a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Hicks is being charged with murder and aggravated assault. He is currently at the Bibb County LEC. This incident remains under investigation. The public is invited to a meet and greet for the new head football coach, Ben Bailey, today at Northside High School. The event starts at 6 p.m. and will be held inside the cafeteria. Georgia officials have signed off on a plan to raise Savannah's towering suspension bridge to make room for larger cargo ships to reach the city's busy seaport. The State Department of Transportation's board approved hiring a contractor later this year to consult on the project while it's still in the design phase. Estimated construction costs are between $150 million to $175 million. A Clayton County Democrat resigned from the Georgia House of Representatives, triggering a March special election. Governor Brian Kemp set the special election for March 21st. Candidates from all parties will run against each other with a runoff later if no candidate earns a majority. A runoff could mean the district goes unrepresented for the current session scheduled to end March 29th. Representative Mike Glanton of Jonesboro served 14 years in the House in two separate stints. He stepped down days after being sworn in for an eighth term. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.